It's nonconformist radical. This is something that's not taught at the Harvard Business School, which is probably why she's making more money than IBM or General Motors these days. Maverick. It's independent and extremist. What you have to understand about Madonna, I think almost every waking moment is work, and she probably dreams about her work. Maverick. It's bohemian renegade. I mean, what is Madonna desperately seeking? Uh, that's what I really don't know. But whatever it is, it keeps her out there. Madonna is maverick. More precisely, it's her new multimedia entertainment company formed with the giant Time Warner. People Magazine's Madonna expert believes the mega deal will finally satisfy her deepest craving. Hungriest artist alive, I think, is Madonna. I really don't know what she wants, but I think that she's determined to get it and get it threefold. And I think that she's got the energy and the savvy that uh, having her with a, a huge company is probably a smart idea. <laughs> What Time Warner gets for its up to $60 million investment is multifaceted Madonna under one label. It's records, music publishing, television, and movies. It's merchandising and books, and it's all controlled by the one-woman money box. Should the conglomerate not recoup its investment, she'll have to refund the company from her music earnings. But don't worry about Madonna. She negotiated a whopping 20% royalty for every album sold. Maverick's publishing debut was her sex book, a half million copies at 50 bucks a pop. Little wonder Mighty Forbes magazine and its editor ranks her as America's smartest businesswoman. Madonna has something better than a Harvard MBA or a degree, and that is she has a sixth sense, what you might call a green thumb. Just as some people can grow flowers better than the rest of us, they have a feel for it or take a recipe and turn it into something beautiful, she has a feel for entertainment. She has that sixth sense both in entertainment and in business, and she's combined the two in a way that is an extraordinary success. What she does is she took a leaf from Detroit, the auto industry, which the auto industry forgot, and that is the annual model change. She has gone through a number of personas over the years. It's always hit the market in a way that it benefited to her, at least in terms of money and particularly with publicity. And she also hasn't stood still in the sense of being passive in the conduct and running of her life. She has plenty of accountants, lawyers, handlers, PR people, but she runs them rather than the other way around. The man behind Madonna reportedly receives 10 to 15 percent of everything she earns. That's enough to make the manager a millionaire many times over. Vanity Fair's Madonna Maven got a chance to quiz him about their financial goals. Freddie and Madonna share one thing in common, he told me, which is that, you know, enough is never enough. And no matter how successful they are, they still want more. And he said, we'll never have enough, never. What I felt when I met her was somebody who was absolutely, totally, completely focused on her product, which is herself. And um, she really is so driven and so maniacally driven and compulsive about her work that you realize that you're in the presence of somebody who's just sort of like a locomotive coming down the track. Madonna's work ethic even extends to workouts, which are public events amid paparazzi and fans. Yet the star who may just have sold her soul for a negotiable image sets rules for her probing public. I draw the line when I get to my house. <laughs> and I go up my driveway, that's where the line is, you know. Wherever I live, you know, that, that should be sacred. She has three homes. First, the Miami mansion for which she paid a hair under $5 million and used as a setting for her sex book. A G-strings throw from her sign of the times, the $5 million retreat screams Tinseltown status, hit movie or not. The nine-story concrete castle was once overseen by mobster Bugsy Siegel from a 160-foot tower. Read into that what you will. Then there's the Manhattan co-op filled with the Material Girls Museum quality artwork. It's eclectic, yet strictly mega dollar. The prize collection ranks Madonna among America's top 100 collectors. But she's also a star who gives some back from her incredible fortune. Her charity is AIDS, a cause near to her heart since so many of her friends have died from the dreaded disease. She is a top fundraiser. And I'm hopeful that we can conquer this disease. Thank you. How rich is Madonna? The record fortune has set her for life in multimillionaire status. People's David Hutchins has the last word on the material girl. Madonna is not going away. That, that's a guarantee. 
but uh, it, it's the direction in which she goes that I guess keeps us all out there, reading, watching, listening, and being exhausted. <laughs> Now, Robin, you're the expert on fame and fortune. How much of a material girl is she, really? Well, I don't know. In a single year, she's earned as much as $31 million. And that works out to over 590,000 bucks a week. And that's just about a dollar for every second of the day and night. 